Coming up in this Brightline Construction Update. This update looks at the process of mixing and placing ultra-high performance concrete at the Sebastian River Bridge. The Sebastian River is located on the Brevard and River County line in Roseland, Florida. We'll start with a look at the overall bridge with all of the beams in place. The beams on this project are special decked beams, as the top of the beams themselves form the bridge deck. This was filmed about a week after the final beam was installed. You can see it being installed in the link above. Ultra High Performance Concrete The focus of this video is a special high performance concrete blend that has steel fibers in the mix that fully bonds the structure together. Another benefit is that crews can build the track directly on top of the beams rather than the traditional process of having to place an additional base layer of concrete over top of the beams. Since this is such a specialized mix, crews make it on site directly in a ready mix truck. The concrete mix comes in fabric bags, and a forklift picks them up and holds them over the back of the truck so the mixture can be dumped into the drum. Several of these bags are used for each load. Following all of the bags being poured in, an additional amount of water is sprayed into the truck to begin the mixing process. Then another special liquid is poured in from 5 gallon buckets. Then, more water is sprayed in.
this concrete pours and sets best at a certain temperature. So ice is added to the mixture to bring the temperature down while also providing some more of the water needed. This is Florida, so even though this occurred in December, ice still needed to be added as the temperature was in the 80s the afternoon this was being filmed. The steel fibers, which are in the yellow bags, would be the final addition to the mix, but I did not capture that being added. Looking down the bridge, this concrete we poured directly into the gaps between the beams. A previous pour had ended here. A little while later, the ready mix truck had backed out on the bridge and was beginning to place the mixture. Unlike standard concrete, which flows out in a lumpy, liquidy slurry, the UHPC comes out in a more putty-like flow. The mixture itself is also unique, as the largest particle in the mix is roughly the diameter of a piece of human hair. There aren't any large pieces of aggregate like you would find in a traditional ready-mix bag. One of the crew members uses a paddle to help spread the mixture as it comes out. This also acts as a final agitation to increase how long the mixture will remain flexible in the drying process. While it hardens fairly quickly after being placed, which is one of the benefits of it, there is time to work with it. The mixture does not require any separate side forms, as the beam itself acts as the form. It is also self-consolidating, which in combination with the flat bridge, means the mixture levels itself out. It does, however, require a special bottom form 
that is essentially watertight to retain the mixture. Other crew members take small batches and buckets to touch up areas previously placed. Prior to placement, the girders were cleaned off. This also allows any overflow to be scraped up and worked back into the gap. Now you might be wondering why I decided to dedicate a full video to essentially placing concrete. It is because this project is the first time that UHPC has ever been used on a railroad bridge in the United States. On the FEC corridor, it has also been used on the Ogalley River Bridge and the concrete spans at Turkey Creek. It was also used on most of the bridges on the Orlando Line. Once the full bridge is complete, crews will work on installing the ballast curbs, walkways, and railings before track is laid across it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. Also check out my social media pages.